Technologic. Marketing Tech Blog. Technologic. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, crash it, change it, melt, upgrade. Yes. We had a busy, we always have a busy week, but uh, lots of tools. Like uh, sometimes sometimes we go into these lulls where we're, we're doing a ton of infographics and showing those off, but uh, lots of tools to talk about. First one that I want to talk about, especially to our listeners, mm-hmm. if you have foot traffic that's coming in the door, so you're a retail establishment especially. You don't have to be, but if you're especially a retail establishment, there's a lot of uh, contests out there, you know, so you can do direct mail contests. And basically buy into these programs. And then there's the online ones mm-hmm. that you can buy into. Well, there's a new company uh, right out of Indianapolis called Fatwin. Mm-hmm. F-A-T-W-I-N. Fatwin. Yeah, um, I saw some of your pictures from Mtech. Yeah, they got some cool stuff. So so Fatwin, basically, what they've done is they've integrated it all, offline and online. So you can send out direct mail pieces, newspaper inserts, um, or emails, or whatever, Hmm. And then when people come to your store, they can play the game right out of kiosk, mm-hmm. right right there. And they can win right there. And the thing is, is everything that's re- redeemed, either the coupon that's redeemed that someone got in the mail right. or online, all goes into a nice analytics hmm. bucket and a lead gen bucket. You get to ask people questions before they play, you know, everything else. The other, the so so that's the awesome side from a business standpoint. So mm-hmm. you can increase the number of people coming in your business and then kind of qualify them to see cool. who it is that you want to call back. The reverse side of it is the consumer side is really cool, and that's that. What Fatwin does is they have a progressive system. So right now it's up to like forty thousand dollar jackpot, and so just like casinos okay. have progressive slots and right, stuff like right, that, right, right, right. they've got their own progressive jackpot. And so, so all of the advertisers in their network are basically every time huh. someone plays, it yeah, adds like that's... a nickel to the progressive. And so, so there's just, uh, uh, and then, um, and then the other side is only nine percent of people actually uh, believe that companies give away these prizes. Right? Did you know that nine percent? Um, like ninety-one percent of people just yeah. think they're lying. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, so what they do is on the right-hand side of their screen on the kiosk and online, they show the live winners in real time. Really? Yeah. So they show you, hey, you know, Aaron just won a $200 gift card, and this guy just won yeah. that girl. So they're kind of putting it all out there, but uh, really good. Keep an eye on them. Uh, fatwin.com. I dig it. I dig the name. Yeah, and then uh, uh, another company that I want to talk about, Meltwater. They're a sponsor of the Marketing Tech Blog, but mm-hmm. um, we basically get emails. We, we do searches for clients, for industry stuff, and so a lot of the data that we get right now on our blog is because we have all of these listeners out there, you know, and that's and not people, but computer, you know, so these algorithms going out there and capturing data mm-hmm. on email marketing technologies and Right. So that the second someone writes a blog post about their new company, um, we know about it and we get these alerts. And that's how we're able to accumulate all of these articles all the time. And um, the tool that we use is Meltwater. It's a tool called Buzz, mm-hmm. B-U-Z-Z. And, and so the, the fascinating thing that I wanted to bring, that's great for us. We're a publisher, right? We need all of that information. Right. Well, one of our clients today, we uncovered had 500 mentions in the last two weeks across Facebook, but th- they weren't tagged in those conversations. Hmm. So they just mentioned the company name. Yeah. Uh, well, they weren't even aware. Yeah. They weren't even aware that those conversations were happening out there. So you think about that with your own business. Yep. If you've got a good business, either complaints, uh, compliments, you know, whatever. And, and these were really complimentary you know, remarks. Mm-hmm. But the fact is, is that someone went out and said, Hey, this, you know, this company did a great job, blah, blah, blah. And then nobody responded, you know? And so, so we talked to them literally today and we were talking to them and, and we were saying, you know, we need to have a response mechanism on these so that you can go, Hey, that's fantastic. We're, we're glad you like our products and services. Uh, here's a discount code for mm-hmm. your followers, you know, to, to oh, sign cool. up. Right. Yep. yep. I like that. <laughs> you know, so, but the the thing is, is it's understanding that a lot of people just think that, well, because I wasn't mentioned on, on, on Twitter uh, or because they didn't write on my Facebook page, doesn't mean they're not talking, talking about, about you, you yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. And you might be surprised at the volume of tr- traffic out there that people are talking about you. Um, and so companies really, I think, underestimate the impact of that. And so... 
think about that, that it was 500 conversations. So that's not 500 one people conversations. It's that's not 500 retweets either. It's exactly. It's 500 places where their brand was communicated to tens of thousands mm -hmm. of followers. Yeah. And so the, mm -hmm. so there's this entire pocket of conversation happening out there that they weren't even aware existed. Um, and that's what companies need to understand is that the conversations happening about you, your products, your services, the things that you have to offer, right. your, your customer service, the good, the bad, the ugly, they're happening. Mm -hmm. They're happening out there. And the question is, is, are you out there responding? Are you out there telling people thank you? Mm -hmm. Are you out there encouraging people? Are you out there, you know, nurturing these relationships with these people? Are you out there when someone complains publicly right. and saying, hey, we'll take care of that, you know, or, or, hey, we didn't do that. That's, you know, that's not true. Um, and, and just the fact that companies don't even understand that those conversations are happening is, is really important. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, if you're uh, if you're a company that does uh, a lot of email, uh, high high volume sender, or you have a big payback on your email, um, one of the things that that is becoming clear nowadays is inbox placement. They call it, and so a lot of these email service providers, like if you go with a Mailchimp or Exact Target or whatever, they'll say, oh, we have you know ninety nine percent inbox you know placement or whatever, and it's and it's. It's not a bogus number, but basically what it means is after you join them and import your list and after the list is bounced and mm -hmm. a few times and everything else with what's left, you're going to make the inbox, you know, really nice. Um, but the fact is, is that you can't really trust. That's a system wide number. Yours might be totally different. All of your emails might be blocked and right. they might be blocked because of some words that you used in your title or, or whatever. And so there's these inbox placement services that basically you give them a list uh, and they go out and they basically send to that list and they tell you how, what percentage of that list made it, you know, in the inbox versus a junk folder mm -hmm. or a spam folder or whatever. Um, the big guys on the blocker return path mm. and they charge a lot of money for their stuff. Mm -hmm. But again, we have a great company in town that launched. It's called 250 OK, 250 OK. 250 winds up being it's the it's the code on the back end when an email actually makes it through okay <laughs> so they're called 250 okay but 250 okay basically has an inbox placement service so if you have a lot of emails going out and you're just getting a zero percent response or you're getting a you know 0.05 percent response on your stuff right um you might want to use one of these services because you might want to check you're, you're spending all this money on sending email and uh, and I think our you know we spend like you know over five hundred dollars a month to send email. Right. Well, if ninety nine point nine percent of it is going to a junk filter, then yeah. we're just Throw wasting money. money. Yeah. We're just throwing it away. So that's what these services are for: is basically to use these to do the testing uh, and everything else. Hmm. Um, and then uh, the last one that I wanted to talk about real quick was. Mm -hmm. Ebooks, uh, we've talked about them in the past. We've had shows, I think, about ebooks. Yep, yep. It's a huge deal. Uh, everybody is doing e publishing now. Companies are starting to use it from a marketing tactic now. Um, there's a new company called PubSoft, which actually creates an ebook publishing portal. So, literally, your agency, mm -hmm. you know, or a big company or whatever, could have your own ebook studio. Hmm. And and with authors and and royalty checks and and the rest of them and they have conversion software so you just upload a word document and it fancifies it and puts it in cool fonts and everything else and makes it an ebook that people can download on Droid or or iPhone or anything fancified. I, I want to be fancified. You need it. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> no, so so just this ebook thing. Don't forget, this is taking off like crazy, um, and and you should be working. Working on an ebook if you're not already for your for your industry. You're listening to Edge of the Web Radio with Aaron Sparks. We're online with exclusive podcasts, the latest web news, and links at edgeofthewebradio.com.